Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation e to the power x minus e to the power negative x divided by 2 is equal to 1. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. If we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, then this implies that e to the power x minus e to the power negative x is equal to 2. Next, e to the power x minus by using this power rule a to the power negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power n. This e to the power negative x can be written as 1 over e to the power x is equal to 2. Now from here we multiply both sides of this equation by e to the power x. At left side we multiply by e to the power x. So this e to the power x times e to the power x, e to the power x times e to the power x minus e to the power x times 1 over e to the power x is equal to 2 times e to the power x. Now by using this power rule a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. This e to the power x times e to the power x will become e to the power x plus x minus this e to the power x will be cancelled out with this e to the power x and here we are left with 1 is equal to 2 times e to the power x. Next, this e to the power x plus x will become e to the power 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 2 times e to the power x. Now, by using this power rule, a to the power m times n is equal to a to the power m whole to the power n. This e to the power 2 times x can be written as e to the power x whole to the power 2. We we'll move this 2 times e to the power x to the left side it becomes negative 2 times e to the power x minus this one is equal to 0. Now here we have e to the power x and here we have e to the power x. So we suppose that let e to the power x is equal to t and we substitute t in this equation then this equation will become t squared minus 2 times t minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2 and c is equal to negative 1. And according to quadratic formula, t is equal to minus value of b minus 2 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 2 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next t is equal to this minus and this minus will become positive 2 plus or minus square root of this negative 2 squared is equal to 4 and this negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 4 divided by 2. Next t is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of this 4 plus this 4 will become 8 divided by 2. 
and this is equal to 2 plus or minus this square root of 8 can be written as square root of 4 times 2 divided by 2 next t is equal to 2 plus or minus this square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 2 divided by 2 and this is equal to from these two terms we can factor out 2 2 as a common factor and in bracket left 1 plus or minus square root of 2 divided by 2 now this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of t t1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 2 and t2 is equal to 1 minus square root of 2 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that e to the power x is equal to t we have supposed that e to the power x is equal to t first in this equation we put this value of t 1 plus the square root of 2 then this equation will become e to the power x is equal to 1 plus square root of 2 and in this equation we put this value of t then this equation will become e to the power x is equal to 1 minus square root of 2 now because this function e to the power x is greater than 0 this value 1 minus square root of 2 is less than 0 so no solution is possible from this equation so we only solve this equation to solve this equation we take natural log of both sides ln of e to the power x is equal to ln of 1 plus square root of 2 now by using this nature log rule ln of e to the power a is equal to a this ln of e to the power x is equal to x is equal to this value ln of 1 plus square root of 2 so this is the final value of x this is the final answer of this equation now let's verify this value of x by putting this value in the original equation the original equation is e to the power x minus e to the power negative x divided by 2 is equal to 1 if we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 then this implies that e to the power x minus e to the power negative x is equal to 2 next e to the power x minus this e to the power negative x can be written as 1 over e to the power x is equal to 2 now in this equation we put the value of x ln of 1 plus the square root of 2 then this equation will become e to the power value of x is ln of 1 plus root 2 minus 1 over in place of this e to the power x we write e to the power ln of 1 plus root 2 is equal to 2 now by using this natural log rule e to the power ln of a is equal to a this e to the power ln of 1 plus root 2 is equal to 1 plus square root of 2 minus 1 divided by this e to the power ln of 1 plus root 2 is equal to 1 plus root 2 is equal to 2 
Now, we can write the denominator of this 1 plus root 2 1. And we take LCM of denominators. LCM of this one and this 1 plus root 2 is 1 plus root 2. And when we divide this 1 plus root 2 by 1, we get 1 plus root 2. And 1 plus root 2 times this 1 plus root 2 will become 1 plus root 2 whole squared minus 1 plus root 2 divided by 1 plus root 2 1 and 1 times this one 1 is equal to 2. Now, this 1 plus root 2 whole squared is equal to 1 squared plus square root of 2 squared plus 2 times 1 times square root of 2. We write this negative 1 negative 1 divided by 1 plus root 2 is equal to 2. Now, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this negative 1 will be cancelled out with this positive 1. And in the numerator, we are left with 2 plus 2 times root 2. In the numerator, we are left with 2 plus 2 times square root of 2 divided by this expression 1 plus root 2 is equal to 2. Now, from the numerator, we can factor out 2. 2 as a common factor and in bracket left 1 plus square root of 2 divided by 1 plus square root of 2 is equal to 2. Now, this 1 plus square root of 2 will be cancelled out with this 1 plus square root of 2. And here we are left with 2 is equal to 2. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, this value of x ln of 1 plus square root of 2 is a valid solution.